New tonight, social networking platforms have changed the way we communicate and the way we interact with our friends. But some would argue that social media isn't necessarily helping us, but instead making us feel even more lonely. CBS4's Vanessa Borge explains. <laughs> I don't have Instagram, Facebook, none of that. Priscilla shut down her social media accounts two years ago. I just feel much better now that I got, I eliminated that of my life. Technology and our use of it isn't, as we all hoped, bringing us closer together. Instead, it has allowed us to exchange the deep meaning of intimacy and friendship for likes, retweets, and shares. It's all about approval. A study by the Pew Research Center shows 94% of teens say they spend time with friends on social media. With more than 1 billion users on Facebook alone, experts say social media networks offer instant gratification, giving us the ability to easily keep in touch. But are we experiencing a false sense of connections? So one of the things that we know is that psychological health and well-being depends on our ability to connect with each other. Teresa Albizu, relationship counselor, says she sees people investing a lot of time on online interactions and not enough time on real life friendships. We sacrifice conversation for connections that she says eventually leads to feelings of loneliness and isolation. In spite of all this connectivity, how we are feeling so isolated because it keeps us away from getting together. It keeps us away from really sharing on a much deeper personal level. This social media user says she's noticed the depth of her friendships have changed. And social media is all about good times. That's all you want to post. So yeah, friendship needs to be there through good and bad, thick and thin, be there, be present. Studies have connected real-life social support to positive mental health, but with more and more people cultivating their virtual relationships, how is it that loneliness has become the most common ailment in the modern world? When we sit face to face, for example, my ability to see your eyes, to see your facial expressions, to see your nonverbal behavior gives me cues. Experts say realize that you only have 24 hours in a day and the more time you spend on social media, the less time you have for real world friendships. So you're too busy to really spend the time where it needs to be, which is the true friends <laughs> that nurture your emotional connection with them. The important thing is how do you keep that balance? It takes you making a conscious effort to put the phone down and stay present. I know who my real friends are. They're in front of me, my sister, Matt. So that's how, that's a friendship to me. Experts say it's also important to remember that what you see online is in fact someone's image of themselves created in a virtual space and not necessarily their real life. So be aware of how it all makes you feel. Vanessa Borge, CBS4 News.